Andy Johnson, Minnesota State University. We are looking at voluntary reading and 10 ways specifically to promote it because we know it is so important to reading achievement and every reading program, literacy program needs to include motivation, uh, parentheses, voluntary reading as part of their reading curriculum. First of all, do art activities, both before and after the stories. Now, art is another way of seeing. It could be visual art, it could be dancing, it could be mime, it could be creative dramatics. But it brings another way of seeing to the story, and it makes it fun. Reader's theater is another one, or sometimes radio drama, where students recreate a story, assigning different parts, and even have a narrating narrator. If you do it on a, uh, a video recording, you can have sound effects and intro music and all sorts of fun stuff. Have children keep track of the books that they read. Have them record in their own portfolios the number of books read, the titles, and when they have read them. They can see their progress, and we can look at progress in terms of books read. It's a positive way to show growth, and it enables us to set reading goals as well. Read to children. It helps them fall in love with stories. I still remember Squanto in fourth grade and Call of the Wild, but it helps them develop vocabulary knowledge. It helps them uh, develop a sense of story grammar, story structure, and it helps them to fall in love with books. And it doesn't need to be big. It could be ten to ten, ten, uh, five to ten minutes every day when they come in from recess, when they go out to recess, but included every day. Have children write stories for classroom libraries. Have them publish the stories that they write. You can collect them. You can have a, a number of students writing on different themes. And with a computer and internet, you can get a nice product. They can cut and paste pictures from the internet to illustrate their stories, or you can use digital cameras. You're only limited by your imagination there. But children like reading what other children have read. And the nice thing, if you are a classroom teacher, you collect these over the years, and pretty soon you'll have a large library of stories that children have written. Make reading time sacred every day. Don't bump it. They need to be able to count on it, and they need to look forward to it, to this nice relaxing time where the only expectation is to read and enjoy. Maintain a good classroom library. Money spent on good books is money well spent. Uh, it is much more economical and efficient to spend money on good books rather than consumable workbooks and test uh, testing materials. You can often find good books at garage sales and thrift stores or encourage parents to donate books. Uh, it's kind of sad, though, that we have to scrounge uh, sometimes as teachers to find good books. That should be a basic. Uh, good books in a classroom library where we can see them, they can touch them, they can read them. How can we expect them to fall in love with reading if they don't have good, interesting, new material to read? Number seven, children read to each other, buddy reading, but also have older students come down and read to younger students as kind of a reading tutor. Schedule regular trips to the library, teach them how to choose books, how to choose books at the right level, and have a librarian do book talks on what the new and interesting books are. Number nine, encourage talk about books. This could be book talks again, it could be literature circles, it could be book clubs. You could teach them to evaluate books, rate books, kind of like a movie review. All ways to get them talking about books. And then celebrate story meanings, not details. Avoid yes-no types of questions or burp it up types of questions and assignments and activities. Uh, do not use comprehension worksheets to see if they have read the story. Right? When you read a good book, how would you feel if someone gave you uh, a worksheet to, to ensure that you had read the story? How would you feel if you came out of a movie and someone gave you a worksheet to make sure that you have 
read the story or comprehended the movie. All right? Think about that. We need to talk about books in the same way we talk about movies. We get excited about it. We want to discuss and describe and find out what we like about it. These are all ways to, uh, to help children fall in love with books. Now, here's an online survey, National Education Association. All right? There's a lot of books like this that describe what books children uh, find have rated the best. All right? and this is just one such list, and you can see some of the most popular series. And there's hundreds of lists like this, children's favorite. You can do a Google search, but this gives you some idea. What I like about lists like this is it creates discussion. Someone might say, well, wait a minute, I think that should be up there and that should be down there. And it creates a discussion. All right, this is the end of a video on voluntary reading.